This is the instructional video for the navigation of the NRX1000 personal device. The device is small and portable. The device is powered by two AA alkaline batteries which are found under the battery cover. The battery life is dependent on how often the device is used and the specific settings that are being used for treatments. Under normal use, approximately one to two hours per day, varying degrees of power, the battery life of the device is approximately four weeks. On the end of the device, there is an accessory electrode port. This is where the available accessory electrodes are connected to the device. The device becomes the power source anytime an electrode is plugged in and the main built-in electrode automatically turns off. The NRX1000 has four buttons, an on and off button, plus and minus buttons to increase or decrease intensity level of stimulation, and a preset stimulation select button. There are five preset stimulation patterns on the NRX1000. Press the preset button like this until you've reached the desired stimulation setting. The amber LED light will light to show the preset stimulation pattern that is active. The presets are as follows. Preset 1 is appropriate for ongoing pain and persistent conditions. Preset 2 is a low to moderate stimulation setting. The variable impulse is recommended for conditions that are moving towards recovery, ongoing pain conditions, or if someone is too sensitive for preset 1. Preset 3 is a moderate to high stimulation setting. This variable impulse is recommended for new pain resulting from an injury or recent surgery. If this setting is too strong for the person, move to preset 2 at 15 to 60 PPS. Preset 4 is a high stimulation setting. This preset is recommended for higher pain levels and when a new pain condition has recently occurred. Preset 5 is the highest stimulation setting. This preset is recommended for immediate treatment of an injury and has a strong simulation. There are a range of accessory electrodes available for use with the NRX1000. The accessory electrode plugs into the accessory port located at the opposite end of the main built-in electrode. Use care when plugging in the lead wire. The alignment guide arrow for connection should be on top like this. To remove, hold the insulated connector and gently pull apart like this. Jerking the lead wire instead of holding its insulator connector may cause damage. There are a number of attachments used with the NRX1000. The dome electrode is designed specifically to cover large areas of skin tissue. It can be used on the thighs, shoulders, legs, and even on the face. The elastic strap can also be used to strap on areas that need focused treatment. The comb electrode is used for the scalp and for areas where hair might interfere with the electrode contact. The soft tissue electrode is designed for use on muscles, myofascial release, or as a massage tool. The classic electrode is used on smaller areas such as the neck, around the wrists and hands, ankles and feet. The flexible array comes in two sizes. They are designed to provide treatment over hard to reach areas such as the back or to use with dynamic movements or exercise over shoulder, elbows, knees, and ankles. The Velcro straps are used with the flexible array. They are designed to strap the flex arrays onto the treatment area. Oftentimes users will turn the NRX1000 on and off by holding the on-off button down too long. When this happens, the 1 and 4 light up and the device will shut off. That tells you that you did it wrong. Push it gently, just like this, and do not hold the on-off button too long. This concludes the instructional video for the navigation of the NRX1000.